Secretary Representative during the commemoration of the International Day of the Midwives held at Malago Women Specialized Hospital. The need for more midwives in the country was also highlighted after, under the theme rather, Midwives with Women Celebrate, Demonstrate, Mobilize, Unite, Our Time Is Now. The International Midwives Day in Uganda was held at Mulago Women's Specialized Hospital. The day was graced by Dr. Joyce Moriku Kaduchu, Minister of Primary Health Care, Ambassador of Sweden to Uganda, QNFPA country representative, midwives among others. Because when you look at the high uh, fertility rate, when we look at the number of mothers delivering at the facility, the over 12,000 midwives still is not adequate for the population of Uganda. Today, we are advocating for more midwives to be recruited. We are advocating for a better welfare of midwives. We are advocating for better envi working environment for our midwives. And we are advocating for our midwives to really be appreciated by the public. Yeah. The day was aimed at raising awareness about the status of midwives and essential care they provide to mothers and the newborns. COVID-19 pandemic has also hindered maternal health in various ways. At the beginning of February, Uganda registered 12 weekly maternal deaths. At the beginning of April, that number was 78. So an increase from 12 to 78 weekly maternal deaths. The minister attributes the increase of maternal mortality to inadequate transport of mothers and health workers to health facilities on time. COVID-19 has disrupted the existing services. Last week I was in Ikawempe Hospital discussing the same issue. There are no antenatal care services. They had closed the services. They are trying to reopen this week. In very many hospitals, their antenatal care services are not there. It is time that we have to strategically plan, yet they are high-risk mothers. Midwives are the main caregivers for women and their newborns during pregnancy, labor, childbirth, and in post-delivery period. The UNFPA country representative notes that Uganda is on the right track, stating that seven out of ten births are now conducted by a skilled provider, usually a midwife. It is critical to note that although WHO recommends that the midwife should not deliver more than 175 babies a year, a midwife in Uganda delivers twice as many. The Embassy of Sweden in Uganda continues to extend its support to maternal health and health deliveries across the country. Salt, we have uh, thus uh, far approved a request uh, by UNICEF to, uh, to reprogram 800,000 US dollars to uh, emergency response in West Nile for um, management of uh, COVID-19. The director of Mulago Women's Specialized Hospital notes that they have a deficit of midwives to cope up with the large numbers of mothers. And according to the approved structure, we are supposed to have over 400 midwives. So we have a deficit of 43.5%. So this is quite a big deficit, which also affects the numbers that we can handle as a hospital. Until he says well done. UNFPA has supported the Uganda Nurses and Midwives Council to establish a geographic information system that will track nurses and midwives in the country to ensure proper deployment and validity of practice rendered to the community. Yeah. Zahara Bigaba, UBC. Meanwhile, schools and uh, schools.